And now for your host of Orna's Daily Dose, it's Orna. Hey guys, thank you and welcome to Orna's Daily Dose. I'm your host, Orna. And um, once again, I'd like to thank all of the viewers, the subscribers, and the people who have commented and shared. Uh, thank you so much, so, so much. Um, let's just get straight to the point, shall we? Um, I would like to say, first of all, thank you to all the people who tuned in um, last week to view the episode um, interview with the tarot card reader uh, to kind of get an understanding about tarot and the misconception between tarot card readers and prophets and why one is condemned and one is not. Um, you can, again, you know, the video is down below or, or in my playlist somewhere, so if you just want to go view that to catch up, but also I would like to do basically this, this uh, um, episode is going to be basically a follow-up to my first um, episode on Selena, and not the love affair so much, but in that episode, um, we discussed the topic towards the end about the critics and the horrible backlash that some of these um, reporters or people who are doing stories on her are are uh, getting, and one in particular is uh, Maria Celeste Araras, who is doing a you know, she's doing the um, television series El Secreto de Selena on TNT Español, and she also had the book um, many, many years ago, actually. Um, but she did, like, an updated version of that book not too long ago, a few years back, I believe, in 2016. So, um, yes, with that, she they decided to develop a television uh, series on TNT Español called El Secreto de Selena, which fans were brutal to her. They were sitting here saying, how dare she? That book is nothing but filled with lies and just all kinds of stuff. Well, I would like to say, oh, I also, Suzette Quintanilla went out of her way to make a video uh, basically saying, how dare Maria Celeste Araras make a video, I mean, make a book and a TV series based on a book that is basically filled with lies. They are not lies. You guys look at the title and you automatically so quick to think it's the worst. How dare she say Selena had secrets. She was an angel. She was perfect. No, Selena was not. She was an amazing woman. Selena's personal life did not take away from the success and the amazing things that she did, the barriers she broke in the history and the legend and the legacy that she is and has left behind. Okay? I would like to say that. The book's title is mis misleading and it's mis it it's misleading you guys to think the worst, which tells me a lot of you are one of those type, or some of those types of people who judge a book based on its cover. You should not do that, because this book is backed up with facts, investigative reported facts, on the case and the trial that nobody had ever had a chance to look into, until recently. Carlos Valdez, the ex-district attorney for Corpus Christi, um, started putting out some of the more in-depth detail about the case and the events leading up to it, and have all checked out with Maria Celeste Araras' book. Okay, let me start there. I think we need some lighting, guys. One second. Okay. So I would like to say that. Um, second of all, Maria Celeste Araras never said anything negative to, about Selena in the book. She never revealed a secret that no one hadn't already heard, and she definitely didn't accuse Selena of a secret and say she is guilty of it. What Maria Celeste Araras did was she gave Yolanda Saldivar's version, her interview or her sit-down with Yolanda. She just quoted, as she should have been an investigative, detailed reporter and an amazing one that she is. She went and said Yolanda's version. Then she went and compared it to Selena's side or the side of the family or Selena's side, whatever, the defense. And then she showed the differences, and she went and closed the book with showing Yolanda's manipulative, deceitful, evil ways, and how she contradicted her own stories in several, many, many occasions. Um, and so she basically went over and beyond and over the top to make sure that the people knew that if there was any doubt in anyone's mind that Yolanda was guilty of this heinous crime that they should not, because this is, you know, the story, and here's how she contradicted herself. She just backed up how Yolanda Saldivar lied, what she lied, and how she knew, and the facts backing up 
Yolanda's lies. And she even said, this woman is very manipulative and she's such a liar. I bet you this is the way that she manipulated and lied to Selena. Now, for those of you who do not read the book or are not readers, on episode 9 on the television network series, El Secreto de Selena, it covers that topic where Yolanda's sister goes out of her way to go and stop Maria Celeste Araras coming out of the, the courthouse or out of the, you know, um, from, uh, break from the hearing. And she was walking to, I don't know where, maybe her car or something, but Elida, um, Elida Saldivar, which is Yolanda Saldivar's sister, stopped her. Uh, I think it was Maria Elida or uh, something like that, El, Elida Maria or something like that. Anyway, the point being is Yolanda's sister stopped her and said, Maria, there's something that you need to know about Yolanda. She's got cancer and she's dying. And Maria Celeste Araras was like, oh my God. So she said, I'll contact you later on when I get back to my hotel. Maria Celeste Araras goes into the hotel and she calls Elida, Yolanda's sister, and she asks, she goes and she calls her and she says, you know, basically let's, um, let's finish up the topic where, or let's talk about what you were alleging earlier. You know, you were speaking about this cancer. And Elida says, yeah, about that, just forget it. It turns out she's better. Really? Cancer went away? Well, then she says, what the heck? So she basically told the sister, uh, Maria Celeste tells Elida Saldivar, she says, so you basically, Yolanda had you lie, and uh, lie to me and manipulate me and to look better. And Elida says, yes. So the sister alone did confess to her sister basically making her lie about this just to get, I don't know, sympathy from the reporter to get the reporter to possibly make the odd, you know, the people out there feel for the murderer and that might sway the jury to, you know, find her not guilty. Um, that was just a bunch of things that you guys did not, you know, know, but I, what I'm trying to say is there was something that came up in the book and in the series that I... It's crazy because I had I was watching that television uh, the recent television doc mini docu series um, that H and N had or H and then or something like that like CNN or something like that the um, the detailed tragic death of Selena you know the they get in debt with how she died it was recent it was pretty big and it was pretty good actually but it was not anything different than what Maria Celeste Arada wrote no one gave they everybody was sharing this document a documentary they were like raving about it like oh everyone's got to watch it and it covered the murder it was nothing but about the murder and the gruesome details that other reporters investigators and testimony from the ems from the people that in between selena's life in that time like the, her co-fashion designer martin gomez um the doctor um all kinds of stuff it backed it backed up everything up that we had discussed in the first episode but it also backs up Maria Celeste Arada's book. Now, I had not seen the series until po probably a few days ago. And there was something that had come up in the series that said Selena basically already knew that Yolanda Saldivar had purchased that gun. She told Selena, I purchased the gun to kill, I mean, to protect myself from your father. Her and Selena get very, oh, Selena gets very upset and says, that's my father, Yolanda. You, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Like, no. And Yolanda's like, it's just to protect myself. It's just to protect myself. Okay, and this is towards the end where she's already gotten fired and stuff, and Selena's hiding her. And um, Yolanda, Selena tells her, you better take it back. I swear to me, you're going to take it back. Do you, I don't want you with guns. Where's the gun? She's freaking out. She doesn't want to be in a house or in a room with a gun. Well, I was kind of like, come on. Selena knew what really, I mean, that this woman had a gun. And she, you know, people had already told her that she seemed dangerous to be careful for her. Then suddenly this woman tells her, I have bought a gun for your father. That didn't trigger a, maybe they're right. Maybe she's a little more dangerous than I thought. If she had the audacity to go out and buy a gun to protect herself from my father instead of going to legal authorities if she really felt threatened. And Selena did nothing, told no one, and continued to stay in touch with this woman. Well... I doubted that had happened, and I thought, well, everyone's right. Maria Celeste Arara obviously lies. When I watched the documentary with the district attorney testimony and the of uh, uh, the prosecutor, the, you know, the defense and the prosecutor side, and the family members, the designer, and all the people that you know, even the, the man from the the gun range where she purchased the gun, they all had said the same thing. 
Selena already knew about this gun, which is why Yolanda went and returned the gun March 9th. Well, originally they didn't tell us that. The whole 22 years, they had told 22 years is what I'm saying, because 23 is when we found out. But 22 years, they let us believe that she, Yolanda went and bought this gun, came back to San, I mean, came back to Corpus Christi, went and changed her mind for some reason, went back and returned the gun, and then came back and bought it again. They forgot to say the part where, oh, she had already told Selena why she bought it. And she was already claiming that she was using it to protect herself from Selena's father. But they did not mention that when they addressed the fans and the crowd and the audience. Until recently. They had no choice. So, you guys might want to rethink your attack on Maria Celeste Araras. Just because you didn't know or weren't aware of this stuff does not mean that she is a liar and filled her book with ultimate lies and ba just backlashing her. Because it's the woman's job. She's an amazing reporter. If anything, she's one of the best reporters that I have watched throughout the years and has been very intimate about this. And she's been one of the only reporters who has stayed true to keeping Selena's memory alive. And she, for her to get this crap from the fans when she's worked her ass off to keep Selena as a topic whenever she could find possible to fit her in, she'll keep a report open, like, oh, the anniversaries and so on and so forth. And no matter what the family has said and what you fans have done to her or said to her, she has continued to talk about Selena with the utmost respect, honor, and just an amazing reporter. That is a woman who knows how to divide her work, her personal feelings, and who knows how to say, you know what, I'm not going to hold my anger, because you know she has to have anger. My anger from getting, from the, you know, that the fans have caused me, that the family has brutally tried to ruin me in the media, I'm going to keep that anger separate from the woman I knew, which is Selena. And I, I know that Selena would not have condoned to this. She was not this kind of a person. And Selena's empire has caused these people to, and these fans to act crazy. Having Selena mania is okay. I do too. Which, by the way, don't forget, December 6th, for you Texans, go to your local HEB for the new Selena bag. I know I'm standing in line, but anyway. Um, but she's, you know, it would have caused me anger. It would have made me start having a resentment towards even reporting about Selena. I know, look, I'm a huge fan. I'm obsessed, you can call me, with Selena. But you fans sometimes make it so bad, and your 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 threats and your, your negative attacks on people because of, you think that everyone has to be Latino just to celebrate Selena. What is wrong with you? Why are you trying to keep her contained? Let her legacy grow. Let it expand. Why are you cutting why are you fans cutting her legacy short? You guys are dimming her light. No one else is. And you really need to think about that, like we discussed. You make people not want to report on her, not want to do tributes, not want to do movies. Uh, Y'all want to continue getting the Selena stuff coming out all the time? You know, you love the stuff that comes out of but you, you give them so much crap. Sooner or later, no one's going to be putting any Selena anything out because they're too scared of the backlash that it causes. You're ruining and you're dimming her light and you're killing her memory. Stop doing it. There's a time to do it. There's a certain way to do it. And there's a group of people who you can save that for and give that anger to them who talk about her who say they don't see the point of how this woman who nobody even knows whose music sucks like Howard Stern did and, and save that anger for him not for the people who are trying to keep her alive and take, seek justice for her memory and to keep it going there's no point in attacking Maria Celeste Araras and Suzette Quintanilla if you're watching sweetheart read the book before talking shit on the video to this reporter you guys are you guys are riding your, sis your sister's handlebars I mean, pigtails all the way to the bank. I don't care what you guys say. What else do you guys do for a living if it's not Selena-related? None of you have a real job. That's because you're writing on her money. Quit saying, no, you don't. Yeah, you do. And the studio, Q Productions, oh, whose money, or who made it possible for you guys to receive that money to open that studio? Selena. None of you can sing. Number two, um, you guys want to give backlash 
to certain people for making memorabilia like candles and stuff like that because it's not your religion or following. Who gives a fuck? They're not doing anything negative to her. And you want to be sending threats of lawsuits and blah, blah, bring it. That's what I would say. My friend is a shop owner who had some Selena memorabilia that received a lawsuit threat from the quinceaneras when everyone else in the world was doing the same thing, but no. My friend had to get it because she has her merchandise in her psychic shop. They're not using Selena's image for anything negative. They're not using her for any kind of witchcraft, nothing like that. They just have her on a candle. I've seen millions of candles online. But you're going to do it... Th I mean, you guys just don't even know what to pick at anymore. Stop attacking Selena's followers. They feed you. And, oh, to the other fans from selenafanaticsonline.com, from the YouTube channel, Selena Fanatico. He got threatened by Mr. Quintanilla because he said, us fans feed your family. We do. You don't like to admit it, that's why you get mad, but we do. But if you fans keep on doing what you're doing, just like Mr. Quintanilla, and harming people over in, in Selena's name, it's like Jesus. Oh, we're going to kill in the name of Jesus because we accuse people of being a heretic, or back in the day, and even today. You guys are doing the same thing with Selena. We're going to hate in the name of Selena. And that makes it right. Would she have done that? Would she ask you to do that? So stop doing it. Her dad is a psycho man with his head filled with... He can't let go of his own dream. And he got to live it again, and then it died with her. And once again, he had to see his dream die with it twice. He's lost his mind. He's got an obsession with his daughter, as we all would if it was our kids. I understand the hurt in, the, in his heart. I understand the family, and I loved, I loved the family up until them attacking the people that fed them. I love Selena, and I won't ever let that family tarnish my vision of Selena, because I know that wasn't her. But they have lost their minds with her death. They have gone crazy and just don't know who to attack anymore. They're attacking the wrong people. And so are you fans. Quit fighting people if you want to keep her memory alive, if you want to continue to get the merchandise, if you want to continue to see these things on television, if you want her to continue to grow and newer generations to know about her, that's the only way it's going to happen, is by people continuing to give tribute, homage, documentaries, merchandise, TV shows, movies, all kinds of stuff. You start limiting that down because people are not the right color. They're, whi they're white. They're black. They shouldn't be singing her music. They shouldn't be interpreting her. They're, Mex they're Latino, but they're not the right kind of Latino. They're Puerto Rican. Or they're this really? Now we're going to, then what do you want? What do you people want? Is exactly what I would have said if I was any of these people being boycotted, which I probably will end up getting hate mail for this, and that's fine. But the only reason I say this is because I want to see her legacy grow. I want to see her to continue to be taught in people's homes and become a household name nationwide. And I'm seeing that start to shrink down. It's starting to die down because... The one common factor I see in all of these stories of that you see when people say, well, what happened to this, or why did you guys not go through with this documentary, or this hologram, or this something, why, what, what caused you guys to not do that anymore? The fans. The fans is always the answer. They attack, they boycott, they threaten, they, all kinds of stuff. They don't want to ruin their image as a company, or as a media outlet, or as a reporter, magazine, whatever. They don't want to ruin their entire hard work company over one topic. When they tried to do nothing but something sweet to keep her memory alive, and you guys went and boycotted, they weren't going to risk their entire livelihood over one woman. So they decided to throw Selena out and pick up another person who, whose fans are thankful that they're speaking of them so many years later. The king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley's memory, I mean legacy, was huge. But his fans and all that, that that fanaticism died down after maybe five to ten years, maximum ten years of his death. Yeah, you'll still hear things you'll you'll hear things here and there nowadays, but you don't hear it much. At his thirty years of death, Selena had just passed away. How often did you really hear of Elvis that much on TV? Like you do Selena, you don't. Selena's the only one, the only legend or whose legacy has surpassed everyone else's and still competes in today billboard awards and still is number one on billboard charts not just latin but billboard but that won't happen if we cut her 
chances of getting picked up by the new generation if we cut that down, which we are doing by boycotting these people. Because this girl was white. Oh, she sang Bitty Bitty Bubba. What does she know about singing Selena's music? What does she have to know? She can sing. She can speak the language. And she loves Selena. What's the problem? So I just want to see some of this hate die down and slow down. It's absolutely ridiculous. You guys are not doing her justice at all. You're making people resent her image and her name. I know. You're probably saying, you lie or you don't want to hear the truth, but I'm telling the truth. So, on that note, I would revisit this book called El Secreto de Selena. I would watch the TV show, give it a chance, go do your research if you have to, go watch the new H&N docuseries that came out about or a document, documentary that came out recently about Selena, The Tragic Death of Selena, I think it's called. Life and Death, or The Tragic Life and Death of Selena, or some, something like that. Go watch it. See the actual testimony from the judge, from the attorney that worked the case, from the people who lived this with Selena, and then tell me if Maria Celeste Araras was lying. I think you guys owe her a big apology for putting her through what she put her through, and Maria Celeste Araras good job for sticking to your guns, putting your foot down, and pursuing it, and fulfilling and finishing the project, not letting the family threats, or the fan boycotts, or all these things affect you, and finishing a project that you found and hold dear to your heart, and have done so many years of research. Very proud of you for doing that. You stuck with it throughout the years, and I have followed your work throughout the years, and kudos to you. You're an amazing reporter. Um, with that being said, Chris Perez, I wish you would have fought the family. I wish you'd fight the family on your lawsuit with the book and the TV show. You have every right to tell a story that you was your life. You lived that life with her. Don't let no judge or anyone in the world tell you that you cannot tell the story about your life with your wife and your career. Don't let them erase that part of your your timeline and your history like they erased your last name from her on the star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame just because they took your last name away from the star does not mean that they could take that they'll never be able to take that away from you Selena died Selena Quintanilla Perez whether they like it or not and if they look on that birth that death certificate it's just Perez Abraham's trying to wipe it away and trying to act as if you never happened but you did and no one can wipe that away so um I just want to remind everyone that December the 6th, coming up in three days, um, HEB is releasing the second annual um, limited edition Selena tote bag. It's supposed to be even more gorgeous than the first one, which, of course, it's beautiful, and I'm definitely going to stand in line for mine. Um, everyone take your hard hats and your vests and everything, because it gets brutal. But um, remember, people, it's only two bags per person, $2 a piece, and quit freaking hitting each other and punching each other and pulling hair. It hurts. Trust me. It happened to me last year. Got pummeled by these people. But I still got my bags. Hey. But anyway. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see this candle right here next to me. But again, go to ancientsire.com or etsy.com slash ancientsire. Click on the shop section of ancientsire.com and buy your Selena merchandise. Look at this gorgeousness. It's a candle. It's a jumbo candle. Um, and don't forget, you have other ones, just in case you guys forgot. There's the regular size. They're, you're not going to find anything else like this. They're, very, they're dressed. I mean, basically, they have bling and everything. It doesn't do it too much justice here, but you should see it in the light. Um, and I have several others. I think I have, like... Ten of the Selena candles. They have minis. Um, they have, of course, these Dumbos. And if she doesn't have the image that you want, she definitely can make it for you. She does special, um, special ones. Um, and then, of course, of course, uh, of course, your coaster set. Ceramic coaster set comes in a set of four. If you can hear it, they're well protected. They're glossed and they're sealed, so you can use them without ruining the image. This is the infamous. Can see that or not? Then you have that, and I have like again ten sets of these with different images. So 
they're all throughout my house and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys go to ancientsire.com or etsy.com slash ancientsire, click on shop and type in Selena Candles or whatever, and you will see all the stuff. And also check out Ancient Ire at uh, her YouTube channel. We had her here as a guest um, a few days ago. And one of you who, today, by the way, is the last day to go and comment, comment, comment. Uh, actually, I'm going to give you guys till the 6th of December. Let's do that. The day that Selena's bags are released, one of you are going to, the one who has commented, the first 10 comments on this video or the first episode, are going to receive two questions, two answers with our psychic tarot reader, Anxious Iyer. Any questions you want, she will answer only two for free, one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, down below, drop a comment. Put the time that you commented, and so I can kind of place you in order, because unfortunately I can't place an order who liked. So, yeah, um, at what time. But um, comment, put the time that you commented, and uh, put down what you would like to see be covered on the next topic. So the winner's going to get to um, choose the next topic that we have on our next episode, and they're going to win the two question to answer um, giveaway with Ancient Iyer. Um, of course, Ancient Iyer, who don't know who she is, she is the queen of tarot, card reading, a uh, psychic reader, and also the lucky winner is going to not only go get their Selena bags at HEB on December the 6th, but they will be the winner of our Selena bag. Um, we will be giving away two of the Selena HB tote bags from HB being released December 6th for the winner, whoever comments, and whoever um, wins our first 10 comment challenge. So, first 10, it's going to be a raffle. The winner, a bag of Selena's from HB, the two question to answer one on one with the Queen of Tarot, Ancient Fire, and you get to decide the next topic that I cover, discussion, challenge, whatever you want to see here on Orna's Daily Dose. So don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, and just see who wins. I'll see you guys next time. And thank you to all my little Ornies, which is what I call my fans, um, or viewers or followers, my little Ornies. All of you Ornies are, I love each and every one of you. You guys have supported my music. You guys have, I mean, you guys did amazing. The first day that I released the official remix with uh, Carol G on Mikama remix, you guys, I mean, the amount of downloads and stuff, I, I just want to say thank you so, so much. Um, I do have something being released. It's another remix, official remix, with Miss Becky G. So, you guys listen for that. But, anyways, um, thank you guys, all my Ornies. I love you, all my Ornies. Kisses, hugs, and we will see you guys next time. Remember, be kind to each other, love each other, and never, ever, ever do something that you feel is not right in your heart. Don't boycott. Do not backlash. I mean, don't go and ruin someone until you have read and done your research yourself and, and find the evidence to back up your hatred. If you can't do that, then stop hating. So let's keep Selena's memory alive and her legacy going. Let's stop the hate and let's just love one another. Accept you, love you for who you are, and do not let anybody sway that. We'll see you guys next time on Orna's Daily Dose. I'm Orna, and we're signing off. Ciao.